So today we're going to take a look at the Kinex Mini from Amimon. Um, but this is a very unique kit that comes from Camera Motion Research. What they've done is they've modified this kit in a way where you can use it for video shooting. Now I'll show you what I mean. The Kinex Mini is actually designed uh, primarily for drone use. Uh, so it gets very, very long range uh, to transmit HD video, full 1080 up to 60 frames a second. So the transmitter is actually just this little bit right here, this little piece. Let me take off this um, MMON or this battery here, and you'll see that this is really just the transmitter. So it's very, very tiny. Uh, now, what ca camera motion research has done is they've added a special frame here. So you can see this frame that wraps around the transmitter. They've added a quarter 20 thread here at the front, a quarter 20 thread here at the bottom. They've also got a built-in right angle HDMI that gives you a full HDMI. Otherwise, you'd get this weird little tiny micro HDMI here off to the side. And it's not very secure. It's not locking. Uh, here, they put a right angle so it's secure. It's not going to break your uh, Kinex Mini here. And then they've modified the power cable to a special adapter. And then they're providing a battery solution as well. Now, if you were to buy this kit for your drone for FPV use, you would have to modify the power cable to the power source of your drone. Um, you have to figure out a way to mount this guy because it's really just this box here. Uh, so uh, Camera Motion Research has built a frame, has provided a battery solution here, a battery holder. They modified the cable, added a right angle cable and some quarter 20. So they made it easy for you to use on your camera. Now, when I set this up with my camera, I'll show you what I mean. Um, but let's take a look at the receiver. So same thing with the receiver here. You've got your frame built in here at the bottom and a quarter 20 thread here. And then they've added a power cable to this battery. Now this battery is very cool because it's a uh, eight volt, um, I believe like 8.4 volts or something battery. Uh, rechargeable, um, very small. And so this system right here is really small. It uh, uses, uh, it has an HDMI input and it can transmit, I think about 1600 feet, which is somewhere around the length of five football fields. So very far. And again, very high resolution. It's doing 1080 up to 60 frames a second. Now this guy right here is really reliable. It doesn't need to be so directional like some other systems out there. Uh, so you're going to get a really, really good, reliable transmission from this. Again, it's designed for drones. So it's designed for long range use, but camera motion research has modified it to use it for um, camera use. And uh, there's a lot of reasons why you probably want to use something like this. I'll show you an example in a second. Let's keep looking at the kit here. You've got two chargers, one for each battery here. Um, these are cables that I've put in myself because I use a different cables for different cameras. So I have my micro, my mini, my full, a couple of different cables that I pack in there. Um, you'll probably get other accessories like this is a cold shoe adapter here. So you can mount this uh, transmitter on top of a camera, uh, camera's hot shoe. Um, there's probably a few other things that it comes with. I've been using this kit and um, so some of the pieces may be missing out of here. Uh, but anyways, let's get this guy set up over here on two different um, you know, pieces of equipment, camera and a monitor. And I'll show you guys kind of how it's uh, being used and how it can be set up. All right, this is the uh, Atomos Shogun uh, monitor here. I have it in a beautiful shape rig uh, cage. You see it has the handles here on the side. These handles you can position differently. You can also rotate the handles by the push of a button here. Really nice system. Um, anyways, I'm gonna mount the receiver onto the back of this monitor here. And I'm just using a little flat bracket that I made. Um, so let me put this on here. So we have an HDMI uh, cable here, and that's gonna get connected here. And it's gonna go to the input of the monitor because we're gonna send the signal. Uh, once the signal is received here, it's gonna go back into the monitor. So let's just mount this over here.
And that's it. Now to power it on, you just press and hold the power button on the battery until the red lights go on. Um, and then that's it. It's on. So you make sure you have the power cable from the battery to the unit here. And then we would power up our Atomo Shogun. Now we're not going to get a signal right now because uh, we don't have the transmitter hooked up to a camera. So we're going to do that right now. All right. So for the transmitter here, um, we have the transmitter plugged into the battery pack. Uh, once again, to power it on, you just press this twice or press it and hold the uh, button until the red lights go on. Now I'm going to use the HDMI out from um, the Blackmagic Video Assist here. So it's a pass through. So it's just going to pass the signal from the camera. It's going to go into the monitor and it's going to come out the monitor and it's going to transmit from the Connects Mini here to our uh, receiver that is hooked up to the Atomo Shogun. Um, so let's get this plugged in. Actually, before we plug it in, I'm going to screw this on using a friction arm here. Now, this is probably not my final solution on mounting this to this uh, rig here, but I'm going to just do this for now for you guys. Now, ideally, you want these antennas pointing up and you don't want them obstructed. We're working in such short, short range here. I don't have any problems. Um, so let's go ahead and point this over to this chart. Turn on our monitor, turn on our camera. There you go. So as you can see, our image is being transmitted over to the Atomo Shogun. So if you have someone that needs to see what you're shooting, you can hand them one of these monitors, uh, like your director's monitor, and they can view it and they don't have to look over your shoulder and they don't have to peek through your tiny LCD screen to see if uh, everything's the way they want it to be. So you can set it up to one of these portable monitors or you can set it up on a large director's monitor, you know, like a 21 inch or something, um, so everyone can see. Uh, so it'll transmit, as you can see, as a pull focus, there's very little latency. You get almost the same exact image on both monitors here. So it transmits very well. All right, let's talk about some of the pros and some of the cons. Uh, definitely one of the cons is you cannot transmit audio. So if you guys are trying to send your video feed from one to the next and you have to send audio, this will not do it. Um, this is also HDMI only. So if you have cameras that are using SDI, things like the Blackmagic Design Ursa, uh, you can't send it through here without getting some sort of SDI to HDMI converter first, uh, but that would work. Again, no audio. Now, one of the pros is that this system right here is also set up for multicast, which means you could take one transmitter and send it up to four different receivers. Uh, so that's a feature that this thing can do if you get the right setup. So you don't have to send it to just one monitor here. You could send it to four monitors simultaneously. So there's a look at the Connects Mini from Amamon and the modified version here from Camera Motion Research. Now, remember, this guy right here can be set up for multicast. So you could take one transmitter and send it to up to four different receivers. It's also very long range, too. So this little kit here, this mini, can transmit probably the length of five football fields and more. Remember, this is originally designed for drone use and FPV use, and that's why it has the performance and distance built into it. Um, all of those features are normally found in high-end uh, video transmitters that could be very, very expensive. So here, you're getting a lot of the uh, features for a fraction of the price. Now, it doesn't transmit audio. It doesn't do SDI, um, but it's a very reliable kit if you just need HDMI only. So if you guys are interested in this, take a look at Camera Motion Research's website. I will have a link below this video in the description or on the blog at cheesycam.com.